The Russia Ukraine war is now in its 435th day and in a major escalation of the ongoing conflict on Wednesday Russia said Ukraine tried to attack the Kremlin with drones in a move to target President Vladimir Putin. The Kremlin press service called the so-called attack a planned terrorist action and an assassination attempt on the Russian president. A purported footage of a drone strike targeting the Kremlin also surfaced on a local channel. The video shows plumes of smoke over the Grand Kremlin Palace, a 19th century building serving as the official working residence of Russian President Vladimir Putin. No sound could be heard in the video, but witnesses claim that they heard at least one loud blast resembling thunder rumbling. A second video shows an explosion above the site Senate building while two men appear to climb up the dome. As per latest reports, Russia has accused the US of masterminding the drone attack on the Kremlin and said it was executed by Ukraine. Kremlin noted that the Russian side reserves the right to take retaliatory measures. Meanwhile, on Russia's allegations of drone attack on Kremlin and reports of the nation preparing for large-scale terrorist attack, Ukraine said it wages an exclusively defensive war and does not attack targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. In response to Russia's allegations, spokesman for Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky said that Ukraine had no information about the attack on Kremlin. President Zelensky has also denied that his country carried out an alleged drone attack on the Kremlin. Zelensky said they are not attacking either Putin or Moscow, rather fighting on their own territory, defending the villages and towns. Zelensky said that they don't even have enough weapons to do that. The Ukrainian president further stressed that Putin needs to do something drastic, either assassination attempts, drones or some gears that bomb them. They'll come up with something or the other every day, he noted. Offering a solution, Zelensky's message to Putin was, no need to intimidate anyone, no need to use weapons, you need to leave the Ukraine territory. Stay tuned for more updates on this. Bureau Report, OTV News.